What up guys? CP the Tool Addict. Woo! <laughs> How's it going today? Hope you had a great weekend. Once again, uh, we had a great discussion on our live stream on Friday and uh, had uh, I've got a couple photos up on Instagram. So if you have don't follow me on Instagram, definitely check that out if you're not aware of Instagram or not sure how Instagram works, I can't help you there. I'm not that techie myself, but today of course, you've probably seen the topic if you're already here, and I want to say thank you for being here. You're going to see that we're going to talk about lights, and if you follow the channel for a while, you know that I have a few lights, and I wouldn't say that uh, I have as many lights as I do ratchets, but I will say that I have tried a lot of them. Uh, if it's a Mac light or a snap-on light... Cyclops light, an easy red light. You pretty much name you name it. I pretty much tried it, and uh, we're gonna go through a few of them because I have all of them here, and we're gonna talk about them. And I'm gonna talk to you about the pros and cons of them. Tell you my uh, feelings about them and what I what I found that I don't what I do and don't like about them, and try to run through this real quick. So without ado, let's just run into this, and uh, let's talk about. Some of my uh, ones that I have right here in front of me, and we're going to move over to the other toolboxes. But uh, we're going to talk about the light and carry. This one's one of my favorite lights, and one big reason is, is it's super powerful. This one is a Clore Automotive. It's a light and carry. Um, this is a uh, 2600 milliamp, and this has like uh, 1500 lumens on this max. Obviously, I don't want to blind you with this, so we're going to turn on. It comes on with a, the button in the back here. You got one, two, yep, yeah, I turn on, two, three brightnesses. I think it's like a, it's kind of, it's, it's like right around like a 250, maybe 500, or maybe a 500 and a 750 and a 1500. This thing emits some real serious uh, lumens. What I like about this light, basically, is, is the fact that this has a removable battery pack. And why do I like that? Because most times when I'm working on something, when a light goes dead, the most important thing is, is to getting the light back in the fight. This has a really strong magnet. It has a super, it works good for an underhood light. But the biggest thing is, is it comes with two packs. I think you generally buy this with two packs. And on top of that, it's USB chargeable. Now, or, or it's USB, it has a USB port for charging. The bad, the downside of it is, is it doesn't use USB for charging. It comes with its own proprietary port. And that's becoming a problem because of cords. If you notice over here, I have a lot of cords and they're getting tangled up. So that's one downfall of it. But the big, big thing that I'm starting to find that I really like with lights is backup batteries so that's a really big deal um and then we're going to talk about this guy right here and this guy so this is a capri and i've been using this one for a few minutes and uh it's like 750 lumens max and it's on a rotating dial so it's adjustable but it has a good feature to it that i like which is the black light feature now I will say it's not as bright as I, I'd liked it, but it also has a magnet on the end, which is definitely handy when you are working on something. And I do like this feature, so it picks up a bolt. Very nice knife. It has hooks everywhere, which is also nice for non-magnetic magnetic surfaces. And uh, it's got the rotating deal, which is very strong on these. Some of these I don't like because they're, they're not very strong. But this is an ROHS. I don't know what the part number is. Free tools is pretty much their only light they have. It's a nice light. The downfall is on high, it doesn't last quite as long as I'd like it to. That's the one downfall about it, I will say. that I like these slim lights. And, you know, here's the thing about some of these lights is, is that getting them into tighter areas, thinner, tighter areas, it's definitely nice to have these type of slim lights to slip down in there. So, um, you know... 
is it is it a light that I wouldn't have? No, actually, this is a light that I would probably have. And the fact that it has a dual function makes this a very good option for affordability versus buying a standalone UV. Now, this is a, a snap-on UV light, which this is pretty much my favorite. But uh, And this one's a CTLUV 761. And this thing is super bright. I've had this now for a couple months. And uh, absolutely one of the best UV light on the market. Does it do what this does? Yes and no. The thing is, this one doesn't emit. This one's more of a uh, distance like this. For UV, you're only going to get a good distance like this. You're going to have to be up close to it. Whereas that one gives off better distance farther away. So when you're trying to look at a condenser through a radiator... That's where that UV light makes a difference. This one, you kind of got to poke it in through the radiator, kind of uh, get it. And it's, you know, you're going in straight in. So it has some drawbacks, but it's still a good light and it's and it's really affordable. So a lot of, and the reason why I'm making this video is, is because I've had multiple requests to talk about my lights. And this is probably going to go on a little bit longer than I want to. But if you're really interested in finding out all the lights, and I have a pile of them. Stick around because this video is going to get in depth and I really can't go through all these that quick and un, under the, unfortunately so it's going to be extensive. So there you go on that one. That's the Capri light. The next light we're going to talk about is the uh, we're going to talk about these guys here. These are the uh, Maxion lights. Now this is a new one and this one has the focus beam on it and I like the focus beam. Not going to lie, because it, it puts out a center. And if you guys know Coast Lights, so I do have some Coast. I'm not even going to get into the Coast Lights, but um, I do have some Coast ones. This, But the, you can see where the focus beam is. Great light. One downfall is, I will say about this is, is whereas this one's nicer is, lower lumen output is sometimes a little bit better. Uh, this one's put out 750 lumens. This is the best light Maxion has, without a doubt, guys. Um, other than this little rubber that comes loose on the bottom here for a protective part, this light is really the cat's meow for Maxion. This really hits all the spots for a nice little kind of hand light with a magnetic base. The only thing it does, does not have would be nice is having a hook on this and uh, where they did that with this. <clears throat> now, I do understand, here's the problem with lights is, once you give mechanics a high button on a light, they're always going to use it. So, uh, I don't ever not turn it on. Nothing but high, uh, unfortunately. So, you're just going to get high. But this one burns out. I think it takes about an hour on max on max beam right like this. And it's bright. It's not no joke. Not a terrible light. It's got a wireless charger. I do like that. And obviously, like I said, I like the uh, freaking hook on the back here get my pocket screwdriver out the hook on the back is really nice when you want to hang it i wish they would have been on the top side but i guess you know you just hang it around you just turn it around and you really don't you don't notice it but it's a nice light nonetheless and i might have to go into a second video doing this guys let me know if you think you want to hear more about this when i do this but obviously i have a pile of lights so I really like this Maxion better, the Cyclops here. Really pretty much the staple for being one of the best lights. Charging indicator on the back. USB charging too on this. Uh, I forgot to say that. The Capri does have USB charging too. Another big big one. Uh, this, one's, this one's standard USB and this one's USB-C. So obviously this one's a little bit nicer for charging because obviously everything's USB-C now. So with that being said, let's put those back. Let's go into the next one. <laughs> Hopefully this bit, video doesn't get too boring. And the next ones uh, we're going to go into, we're going to talk about some under the hood lights. And I'm going to show you some other stuff. We're going to talk about some more charging. So we're going to start off with this guy right here. And this is the Easy Red Hood Hawk, which I got from JD Tico. And I got to say, I've been using this for a little while. Great light. Comes with three different attachments. This magnetic base attachment is really awesome. And it switches out. And you can put it on. And I found out it broke in a lot better after using it. So it switches over a lot easier. And then it comes with this attachment that hangs over the hood. Really nice. Come, and it 
turns on high right away, like 700 lumens, 500 lumens. It does have a USB charger, and this one's just a standard USB charger, but it's a two-button click. It's got an indicator on the back. When it starts to get low, it comes on, and this hood attachment really does work out really nice. Thought it was going to hang low and be in my way, but I really do like it. Also has a pistol grip attachment, which really has been kind of handy too because instead of me just having to have a light this is kind of a multi-purpose light now you can stick it on this little pistol grip attachment and kind of doing some inspections with it and it's a pretty bright light so not a bad light and i'll tell you what for 55 dollars jd tico had a smoking deal on it so it's a shameless plug to them they just got lucky today because i had that and i believe they sell the maxium lights too J he, they really they have good prices on stuff i mean that's honestly, honest to God, the guy does a great job on getting the prices. That's all there is to it. Let's look at some more lights. Okay, so without blinding you, I'm going to show you my under-the-hood light that I have. Kind of don't use this one as much as now since I got the AZ Red light. This is a Matco, um, or it's a Matco Saber light. There's a part number upside down. It's a UHWLRC. has two settings on it. It is rechargeable, has what, one, two, three, four, six LEDs on it, and the cord comes off, it detaches, but this is rechargeable. This kind of stays up here now. Great light, love it, but just don't use it as much now that I got the Easy Red because it's just so much easier to use the Easy Red. $200 versus $55, pretty much a no brainer. Um, kind of kind of like the compactness of the Easy Red, but I still would like I still like having this around because I do use it. Especially if you want something that's not going to lose power because you can hook it up to the corded one. So definitely keep that in mind. Um, these things right here, the Snap-on wireless charging lights. Absolutely amazing. Obviously you can see I use these all the time. Simple one on, on and off light. I really like this light. Whoops. And this has the wireless charging pad. I don't know the part numbers on this one, guys. So um, this light I like a lot. It's got another focusing beam, but it's really great. Quick and handy to grab. And I can just put, stick it right back there on the charger. And you can see it goes back to charging. So definitely an awesome light. I got a couple of headlights here, headlamps I use here. These uh, blue power ones, and uh, they're really nice. Whenever I use a headlamp, uh, these are kind of cool because they have a. Let me set the camera down here. These have a little feature on them. You got to hold this, and they got a turn off feature, so you can wave your hand over them. Really cool. These were like twenty bucks. Off the mat coach or off the cornwall truck USB charger on them really cool, really light. I really like them and they swivel all the way around. Plus, they have a clip on them. So, I have I bought two of them, they were so cheap <laughs> and they've lasted a long time and they've done really well. One light that I was not impressed with as far as the holder goes, and that's this piece of crap right here. So, I highly recommend, and Matco has the same light. But uh, I do like the stick part of it, and it does have a magnet on the back. And I use this light quite a bit, too. But this uh, holder is pretty much useless. I've tried fixing it. It just clips on and off. It's got a little clip here, and then it clips on and off. But it has a uh, charger, USB charger on the end, which this thing never closes. And uh, it's got a green indicator on here, and that turns on the end light which is like 50 lumen, and then this one, and then the lower lumen, but really thin and compact. Really, really like this light. It's not bad. It's a blue ion. There's your part number on it if you're interested in that, and I believe Matco sells the same thing, so keep that in mind if you're looking for one. You can probably get it off the Matco truck, too. I'm sure somebody makes it for them. Um, Another light I have, and then we're going to go on to one more, and that's this one right here. This is the Pro Stick from Matco, or Mac, excuse me. And let's take this over the table. All right, so let's talk about the Mac Pro Stick. So I bought this in a bundle. 
with this one. And this is the uh, Pro Stick ASL 200M and the ASL 750M. I really like this light, except for one feature. But I will talk about all the good things I like and then tell you why I don't like it. So it has a light on the end. It has light, this light and then the 750 off. It has a diffuser. Now you're like, CP, why would you want a diffuser? Well, it actually directs the light, believe it or not. If you look here, I'll shine it like that, and then I'm going to flip it. Do you see how the light's more intense in one spot? And it kind of keeps it from moving, so it's a clear side and a diffuser side. A lot of lights have diffusers out there, as you don't realize. And they, some of them do and some of them don't, but you see how the light changes. Not only that, this little feature, this little stick... Has a cool feature on the end. It has another magnetic deal on it. And this sucker is no joke. It, it'll pick up a pretty substantial amount of weight on it. Uh, good size bolt. If you're a diesel guy, I have so many magnets over here right now. But if you're a diesel guy, that's a 22 millimeter bolt. But definitely a good light. The bad thing is, and I like this light too. And we're going to talk about pocket lights here last but not least. Bad thing about it is, another non-proprietary port. This also has a hook, a very strong magnet on the end. The flexibility of it's awesome, the thinness. Great light, but the charging port, definitely a huge problem. This light lasts too. This light lasts a good amount of time. You can see I use this quite a bit. It is one of my go-to lights. Uh, I usually grab this. The reason why I grab this one or that thin one, or the Capri, and unfortunately, because all three of them don't have a super long-lasting time when I'm trying to use something down in an engine bay, in between something tight, that's why I have all three of these, because not a single one of them lasts long enough, longer than an hour, I don't think, on, on high. This one might last a little bit longer, because it's got a pretty decent-sized battery on it. This one has the biggest battery. This might last longer. I, I gotta be honest, I haven't timed it. So, we're gonna... Move right on into the last feature, and that is pocket lights. <laughs> and if you go on CP, there's no way you could possibly know any more about lights or have any more lights. I do. Obviously, we have this one. I like this little pro stick. And once again, it has a light on the end. Three different brightnesses. I believe this one's 200, what's well, called ASL 200. I believe it's a 50, 100, and 200 on the lumens. And then, obviously, you guys should know, if you've watched my channel, my Chloromantis, uh, this thing is, the, this is what's on me at all times. Magnetic base, swivel, pocket clip. This thing is $20. You can't beat it. Uh, you know, and I, and, and I have Snap-on stuff. And you guys should know by now, if you watch my channel, I'm not all about spending money. I do like those Snap-on lights, and they are $200 for a set of them. And they are fantastic. But I can tell you this. This light was $20, and I would buy 12 of these before I'd ever buy another one of these. So, uh, the only reason I bought this one was for a laser pointer. This was kind of a, I don't know what the brightness is on it, but it has this little light, and then it has a laser pointer on it, and quite frankly, it was just a novelty item, and I believe it was like 20 bucks or something like this. Plus, it takes batteries, but it has lasted with the batteries in it quite a long time, so, and, <coughs> and it has a magnet on the back, too, right here to hang on to, so... Not a bad light. I definitely don't mind it. So, uh, long and short of it is, what do I think, what do I want for lights? Well, or why, what's my favorite light? Obviously, my favorite pocket light. I want three different lights, okay? I need an under the hood light, and that's why I have all these lights. I want a good under the hood light. So, my Easy Red and the Chlor Automotive and the Matco Saber are my under the hood lights. Which one's my go to? Right now, it's the Easy Red, honestly. Uh, so, $200. $100, $50. Three different price points, and that's the price I came up with. And the uh, $50 one, one on that one. Now, when it comes to the slimline lights, once again, different light. And, of course, I do have a Stinger light. Um, I forgot to put that in there. I do like it, but I don't because they roll away. So I haven't been using Stinger lights that much. So uh, just to put that in there. But to the next lights, this is kind of... I use that snap-on light more than I do the Stinger because it's not round and it doesn't roll away. But when it comes to slimline lights, this out of this one, the blue one, or the Cornwell, and this one, this is my favorite one because it does last the longest. Uh, it's just a lot more sturdy. I hate the charging port on it, but this light is pretty freaking awesome. 
I definitely would buy another one of these, and I think these are actually on sale. Shameless plug right now, but I think these things are on sale right now for a pair of them, and they are a killer deal for these lights if you can buy them on sale. And uh, then, of course, now you have, I do like the Mac or the Snap-on and my small Maxim. They are both a toss-up for the pod style light or pod, I don't know what you call these things whatever these things are this is like the snap-on and the maxium are very similar I do like these I like I might like the snap-on better I don't know it puts off a little bit more light but it lasts a long time these both last a heck of a long time and these are pretty much interior lights for me I'll be honest with you because I can lay them flat on the floor sometimes stick them under a dash if there's some type of metal and then my favorite pocket light is obviously the mantis hands down I do like this light, and it's kind of a backup pocket light for the when this one, it, once again, when a light dies. None of these lights last eight hours in a day. That's the biggest problem with these lights, guys. And this one's really got a ton of flexibility, too. Got to be honest with you. So it's really nice for sneaking up into places uh, underneath the dash and whatnot. Pretty compact, and I can also store this one right here in the old bibs because you know how I am. But... Uh, the snap-on is all novelty. I wouldn't ever use that as a efficient light. So that's it. Long, long video, guys, and I do apologize, and I hope you stuck around for everything. Listen to what I had to say. You know, there's a lot of great lights out there. Different lights serve different purposes, and I'll be honest with you, there's a lot more coming out on the market because it's a big thing. But in order for me to... I have literally over 20 lights, and you can see that I have to use two of them or three of them time a day. And I just really like them. So that's the video for you guys. I appreciate you watching as always. Love everybody. <laughs> hope you had a great weekend and hope you enjoyed this video. Remember, like, comment, share, subscribe. Ring that bell. Remember, keep your hands dirty and your money clean. Thanks for watching.